Hi guys, uh, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Today we're going to be talking about the process of upgrading a piece of electronics. Um, we're going to first look at this, which is a, a TU8100. It's um, a PCL86 single um, stereo power amp made by Eddie Kit. Now we sell this as a kit, so £235. So that's the first thing you have to consider. If you're going to do an upgrade, you, you don't really want to put like thousands of pounds worth of stuff in something that costs 235. So the budget for me on this particular thing would be, you know, about a third of the price, so 60, 60 quid. So I'd be looking to upgrade this, spend about 60 pounds on the parts. Um, the, f the first thing you have to do is obviously open her up. I'm going to talk through how you go about deciding what components need changing. When it comes to um, kind of any piece of equipment, first thing I would change is the volume control. It's key, you know, obviously the signal goes through it um, and there's quite a few kind of high-end volume pots out there. The only issue is you have to consider the fit. Um, if you look through here, you can see the pot sits on PCB, not a lot of space, and then it also has that PCB is connected to the board above it by a standoff. So there's very limited room. I would not change that component because you're never going to find one that has exactly the same pin layout. So you're just going to have to leave it. It's the way it is. I mean, it's, it's quite a small. It's a small product. You know, you can't. There's not not a lot of room. Um, so. Unfortunately, volume one, which I would do, we're not going to touch it. So I'm going to go through the circuit. Pretty easy with the valve circuit. The PCL86 is a triode pentode. The triode has three elements to it there. So you've got your anode, your grid, and your cathode. So the signal comes through there. So components linked to those elements on the triode are going to have a, a big influence on the sound because it's at the beginning of the stage yeah further down the line they have the less influ less influence so you can see here it goes directly into the cathode you've got R11 2k2 C3 which is 220 UF 16 volt obviously it's it's stereo so you need two of each so these are the change now I've written those down R11 and R12, it's that one, and 220, 16 volt, C3, and C4, which is that one. So definitely change those. And then staying with the triode, if you look round, look up, you've got the anode. Now the anode resistor is a 220K there, R13. Definitely change that one. So R13, R14, anode resistor, change that one. And then one of the main kind of caps on the signal path is the decoupler cap. Basically, it gets rid of all the DC that's needed to provide the juice, and it gives you an AC, which is an audio signal, which goes into the grid of the next stage, which is then amplified further. In this case, C1 and C2, it's a 0.15, 400 volt that they need changing, which is here, C1, C2, definitely. And now looking at the second stage, not as important, but still important. You've got the, the cathode circuitry, which you can see comes down to this. So R17 and C5. So they, they need to be changed as well. So that's that one and that one. So they're the kind of biggies, yeah, associated with the circuitry of the valve. You've also, can cha change the feedback. Generally with kind of these kind of amps, valve amps, there is some feedback. So it gives the amp more stability. So I can identify those because it generally sits off the output stage. It's a network of a resistor and a cap in parallel. And I can see them there, C7 and R19. So it's a 220 picofarad and a 2K2, which is this one and this one. That's the circuitry immediately associated with 
the signal stuff. Um, another key one is your power supply cap. Uh, there's going to be a few in the circuit. They're generally quite big. Uh, high voltage, obviously, because the, the, the um, power lamps generally run at high voltages. So I can identify those. You've got C13 there, which is uh, 22 UF 350 volt, and C12 and C11, which are there and there. Now these, we might be able to change them, we might not. It all depends on how much room we have in there. So I can see, I can see some of them in there, but we'd have to take this off first. But before I do that, we need to talk about the size of these components. Right, you can see here that this chassis is just a bit below the actual level of the valve base. Okay, so you can figure out how much room you have to fit the component. With audio grade components, they are generally bigger than the kind of standard parts that are supplied or and used in manufactured product. So here, it's just a bit below the level of the valve base, yep. which is about 11, say 12 mil height. So on all these components here, which are located on this, we can't go above 12 mil in height. Now, with the electrolytics, we've got some that are standing up. So C5, C6, C4, and C3, they're all standing up. Now, you don't have, they don't have you, the audio grade stuff you put in, it doesn't have to stand up. You can have it, you can have it on its side like this. Diameter wise, we can go quite big. Um, so I'm just gonna go and get a handful of components just to illustrate. I'm not actually gonna upgrade this. It's not part of the video. It's not what we're trying to achieve here. We're just talking about the process of upgrading. Um, I'm gonna go through my list here of components. Um, on the, we've got the website up um, and first one here is, is the decoupler cap C1 and C2, 0.15 UF. So I'll go into search 0.15 UF. Now, the rating is 400 volts. Yeah, I, I'm gonna search for 400 volt version, but you could obviously go up. You can go to 630 volts, 600 volt, depending on what you wanna do. So, let's see what the options are. Cool, we've got one here. Supercap Hovland, Oricap. Evos are gonna to be too big. So it's quite a key component. But bear in mind, I don't want to go beyond my 70 quid budget. So at £14.19 a piece, that's worth it, definitely. So I'm just gonna have a look at that one because I need to make sure it, can, it will fit. So let's see what the size is. So body dimensions, 19 mil diameter is too big. So that's a shame. So let's look at the super cap. This is perfect. So. This one's Hovland, super cap. Now, unfortunately, a bit of information, Hovland are gonna stop making their caps, so, but we've got a handful left. Let's just go with that. So, spot on that size, we can fit that in. I'm gonna go two, add to car, add it. All right, sweet. So, next one is C3, C4, C5, C6. Now, it's a 220 UF 16 volt cap. Yep, so we're gonna do a search for that. I'm gonna use the same cap for all of it. Um, 220 UF, 16 volt. Again, if there isn't enough choice at 16 volt, have a look at 25 volt, have a look at 35 volt. But I know because it's constraint for the amount of room you've got to fit bits, you're probably gonna to wanna to stick with the 16 volt. So with any kind of cap, you're okay to obviously go with what is originally supplied and fitted in, in new equipment. So here it's 220, you have 16 volt. You can also go up in voltage. Don't go down, because you're gonna put the cap under stress and it might blow up. So you can do 16 volt, obviously, 25 volt, 35 volt, 50 volt. But in this case, you're probably not gonna be able to do that because they're gonna be big, too big to fit. Remember, we've got like a 12 mil size guide for this. Um, 
So here we have audio note standards, two quid a piece. No, I'm gonna go for the audio note Siru, which are 207 a piece. Now, basically the Ciru series, the same as the KSI, except the lead outs on silver. So, I'm gonna add four of those to the, oh, actually, let me just check the size. Yeah, diamonds is 10 mil, perfect. We can fit those, four of those. So, whenever you're looking at sizes, be aware on the website, you have to click on the actual product to see the product page, to see the size. So you can see it listed there. So that's done, that's done, that's done. Now the resistors, I'm gonna go for half watts. Um, you're gonna need to go for a resistor that has a similar size hole as the original. You can drill them out, but it's not advisable really. It's just a bit of a pain. So for the anode resistor, I like to use, let's just have a look. So let's put 220K, 0.5 watt in. And quite a few to choose from. So ranging from 26 quid, that's probably too much money. Um, I'm gonna go for, not for those. I know resistor is quite a key resistor, so I'm gonna go for an audio note, Tantalum. They're 390 a piece, two of those. Add to cart. I know they'll fit. It's just your standard half watt size, so that'd be cool. So that's the anode resistor done. Cathode resistor, it's gonna go for a carbon. Film resistor, I like carbon film resistors in that position. So you might be wondering, how do I know what is gonna sound good in a particular position? Um, there's lots of things out there on the, on the web. People give advice about that. We can all, all also help send us an email, we can suggest all what's, what would be good as a cathode on this. So the next one is just 2K2, half watt. I'm gonna go for a Tapman carbon film. The 55p a piece. So we need four of those. Yeah, so you've got, oh no, no, two of those. So R11 and R12. Two of those. Up to cart. So we're up to £49 so far. That's, that's cool. And then the other cathode resistor that sits on the the output on the cathode of the output tube is a 120R. So, one twenty R. You could also check because it doesn't list the the wattage ratings, but when you look at the, that doesn't tell you there either. But you can tell by the size what wattage they are. Okay. Right, so one twenty R, half watt. Again, I'm going to go with. Carbon Tapman, so two of those. Brilliant. We've done all those. Done that one, done that one. So the next one is feedback resistor 2K2. That's again a half watt. So let's have a look. So for a feedback kind of loop, you want something quite neutral sounding, detailed. So, so I'm going to go for some Tatman metal, metal films. It's always a good idea to use different types of components. If you have an upgrade and you put the same stuff in, so for example, you put all tantalums, it's going to sound a bit edgy to have all those because quite clean sound. So that's why you put carbon in to make it a bit slightly warmer sound in. And the metal film will have a good detailing and the, and the tan the tan is quite dynamic. So it's all all mixes it up a bit. 2200 picofarad. So 
immediately I'm thinking polystyrene. Love polystyrenes, old school kind of sound. There we go, we've got two there, 630 volt rated. You don't need to have that much voltage on those. Is there any other ones? Oh no, we've got one of those left. Okay, so we've got an LCR polystyrene, 160 volt rated. Let's add two of those bad boys. Great. So that's all that done. Now, I need to go back and I need to measure how much. I've had to take it apart slightly to see the three caps we want to change. These are, these are all power su supply caps and they are C13, um, C11 and C12. So that's these chaps, that one there, that one there, and that one there. So diameter wise, these two are close together, but there's a reasonable amount of room to play with. The main thing is the height. So the height is restricted by this. This is called the shielding panel. So make sure the height of the new caps we put, put in is not more than 25 mil. So 22, uh, three, oops, 350 volt. Let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got audio note standards. They'd be quite good. Well, let's see, the chat size. So the height of those guys are tw 20 mil, so they'd be fine. So you want three of those, pop them in, add to cart. Sweet, oh. What's the total of the car? £69.23. I think I've achieved it. Okay, so here is our stash of components here. Um, before you even start soldering, always a good idea just to check that you're good. So these are the 22 UF 350 volt um, power supply caps. C11, 12 and 13. So about the same size. Yeah, so they're pretty easy fit. Desolder, these three here. I mean, I always, I would use desoldering braid, pop it on the join, put soldering oil on, it sucks up all the solder, leaving a clean hole. Um, so that's those chaps, pop those back. And then we'll pop this back on the top here. The 220 Cirus from Audio these are 16 volt rated, so C3, C4, and C5, C6. So that's these here. Now, you can see that they are somewhat bigger. Yeah, so you can't have them standing up, so we're gonna have to put them on the side. So take those out, you can easily fit those in. Take those out, fit those in like that. And here, take that out. He's a lot of room on this side, that's fine. That one out, that's fine there. Obviously, they're polar, so you've got your negative there. Positive's always a long lead, negative's a short lead. So they're done, easy. For the decoupler, the all-important decoupler here. Um, you can see they're quite big compared to the other ones. Height-wise, they're fine. It might look close, but they'll be fine. Um, they've got long lead outs, which, which is great. So you can place them anywhere on the board. So I put that, that one there, trim the leads in there, brilliant. If you find the lead outs are too long, you can just cut the component out completely and just wrap the, the exposed wire around the pin. Saves you desoldering things as well. So that could go there, and this one, similarly, could go there, plenty of lead length position there. You might want to put some glue there, glue gun, stuff there to keep it in place. So they're good. Um, these, the resistors, they're a bit bigger, but you can see pretty much everywhere you'd be able to fit them. Yeah, and then these chaps which are on the feedback for the 2200 UF. These are 160 volt LCRs. They fit just here. You can see they've got the comp 
components there. Again, plenty of room to fit those. Cool, so jobs are good. Um, so with the benefit of having a circuit, being, being able to identify what components are, are good to change, it's a reasonably easy task. When it does get complicated is when you don't have a circuit and you need, you've got an old piece of kit that's got some random old components in, but that's gonna come up in a minute. Just before I sign off, I wanna say a big thank you for watching our videos. Like and subscribe and follow us on all the social network platforms. See you later.